Hello everyone, we're gonna talk about how close Dele Alli was to making it to the roster for yeah, the last game. We're gonna talk about how Alderweireld could be back sooner than later. Then we're gonna talk about finally, what is the plan for Boris Johnson lowering down the lockdown and for some fans to coming back to the stadium. Let's spur our way to glory. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Let's get to it. First off, we're going to start out with Dele Alley news. The Dele Alley news that came out is, of course, he made it to the 19th, 19th member, member of the team sheet. So if someone did get injured last minute, he would have made it to the squad. But unfortunately for him, he didn't. So a lot of people are claiming that he is changing Mourinho's mind and hopefully sooner rather than later he will make it to the team then a lot of people are talking about the video where he acted like a cricket player and caught the ball you can check it out right here Also, we're going to talk about Alderweireld. Alderweireld had a game of a lifetime against Man City when we played them last. And him and Dyer did put in an amazing performance. But for me, Alderweireld is a much better defender. And Alderweireld has shown that in the last game as well. Alderweireld did get... <laughs> did have to leave the game at the 83rd or 84th minute and a lot of people were saying it's a muscle tear especially Mourinho and that's why we are unsure till this moment when and how he will be back but we should pray that he will be back as soon as possible according to Mourinho of course we only have three center backs and two center backs for the Europa League as Rodon is not registered in the Europa League now a lot of people are flocking to the twitter and saying this is great news about the latest transfer gossips going around which is sanchez could be sold in january i know it may seem harsh that we are not wanting him to stay at the spurs but he did he did his latest performances both for national team for his national team and at the spurs are not something that you want your defender to have especially at a big team like the spurs right now and any small mistake could cost us the title and everyone should be responsible and understand that their performance is as integral as anyone else in the team let's move on alan Scherer talked about kane and son being world class there is no doubt about it that's why Daniel Levy is trying to wrap up a deal for him worth 50 million pounds for Jungman Son, of course. If not, other teams will be circulating and trying to sign him up. All right, another player that could be signed by City, according to reports and according to Pep, that he is urging urging city owners to sign him as soon as possible let me know what you think is that possible or he's gonna be a spurs player forever as we had said in previous videos all right moving on daniel levy has developed big let's say eye bags because of the loss that spurs had made during the pandemic and that loss is irrecoverable so it's not going to be recovered in any sort of way so boris johnson is proposing to open up back some of the stadiums and fans are expected to be back as soon as december 4th 5th or for the next in that for that game that's happening in december which is a derby against arsenal and a lot of people are going to try to get their hands on the ticket for that game let me know are you going to be one of these people and if you are please don't forget to take a great video for the women's Spurs team, of course, Alex Morgan had many issues and that's why she wasn't able to start many of the games until last game she came on as a substitute and missed one of the integral penalties or spot kicks which made us lose against Arsenal. Now, Alex Morgan is making her recovery and should be able to start the next games. Let me know what you think. Is she? Can she um, 
guide the Spurs women's team to glory? Can she help them? Because we are sitting second to last in the league. Okay, Chris Sutton said that this pundit is stupid because he said <laughs> the Spurs are title contenders. And we are talking about Roby Savage. And that's Chris Sutton talking about his counterpart that he's stupid for claiming that the Spurs are going to win the league. Look at this celebration pose <laughs> that was posted by Hoiberg with, him, with Mourinho. And this picture has gone viral. Check it out. Let me know what you think. It just means, it just shows you how much it meant to Mourinho to win that game, especially against his nemesis, Pep Guardiola. Thank you for watching the Spurs News. Have a great night. Spurs News, tracking down every detail. Transfer news, every gossip, every finished move. Game predictions, and the